Charlemagne, King of the Franks, Emperor of the Romans, Father of Europe, but also owner of Abul Abbas, the only elephant to set foot in Europe for a time span of over 1000 years. Back then, elephants were like mythological creatures for the average European. Like really, a giant bald horse with spears for teeth and a trumpet for a nose? Get out of here, eagle bird, you drunk Saxon piece of mad. So how did Charlemagne get his hands on this biblical behemoth, thousands of miles away from its natural habitat? The tale of Abul Abbas starts in 765, during the reign of Pepin the Short, Charlemagne's father. Remnants of the fallen Umayyad Caliphate in Moorish Cordoba were a thorn in the side of both the newly established Abbasid Caliphate and the Carolingian Kingdom. To facilitate military cooperation against these Umayyad Moors, Pepin the Short started a tradition of two-way diplomatic missions between the Abbasids and the Franks. True military cooperation would not be realized until a decade later, however, when Pepin's successor Charlemagne marched into Spain to fight side by side with the Abbasids against the Umayyad Emirate of Cordoba. The campaign was less than successful though, and Charlemagne was chased out of Spain after his siege on Zaragoza failed. A strong basis for future diplomatic relations was late, however, and in 797, Charlemagne sent an embassy to the court of Caliph Harun al-Rashid in Baghdad, composed of two Franks, Landfried and Sigismund, and a Jew, called Isaac, the Jew, an experienced trader that was likely familiar with the Middle East and its Arabic language. This three-year journey would take the trio from Aiken to Carthage, Alexandria, Jerusalem, and finally Baghdad, the bustling center of the dawning Islamic Golden Age. There, the delegation met up with the Caliph. They discussed the perfidious Moors, the treatment of Christians in the Holy Land, and what color of elephant Charlemagne would like most. After offering Charlemagne custody over Jerusalem's Christians and agreeing to keep disliking the Moors together, Harun al-Rashid and the Franks exchanged gifts. The Caliph was given Frankish hunting dogs, Spanish horses and Frisian drill. And in turn, the Franks received a clock so advanced the Franks thought it was enchanted, some Abbasid drill, and Abu Abbas, the elephant, named after the founder of the Abbasid Caliphate. On the way back, the company was a bit less fortunate, and Isaac's Frankish companions died under unknown circumstances. Charlemagne received word of Isaac's location and sent a fleet of ships from Genoa to Carthage to help him with his big pachyderm baggage. Isaac and Abu Abbas landed back in Porto Venere in October 801, where they spent the winter and then crossed the Alps in spring to arrive back in Aiken on the 20th of July, 802, after six long years on the road. A lot had changed while Isaac was gone. His liege wasn't just King of the Franks anymore. No, Charlemagne was now Emperor of the Romans. Um, well, actually the Romans already have... <laughs> It had been more than 750 years ago that an elephant was brought to Northern Europe. The previous elephants were brought by Emperor Claudius in the year 43 AD, during the Roman invasion of Britain. The commoners must have looked upon their emperor in awe as he paraded through the cities, riding a behemoth straight from the Bible, once again confirming the righteousness of his monarchy. Abu Abbas, well traveled by now, spent the next eight years among Charlemagne's collection of exotic animals in one of his menageries, no doubt with all the luxuries an imperial elephant could dream of. When in 810 Charlemagne mounted a campaign against King Godofrid of Denmark, he took Abu Abbas with him, which can only mean two things. Either Abu Abbas was used as a war elephant, maybe even as Charlemagne's personal war steed, or the elephant was his cherished pet, and he wouldn't go anywhere without him. Or both, as the Bucephalus to his Alexander. 
while waiting for Charlemagne's army to assemble, at a town called Lippeham, thought to be modern-day weasel, Charlemagne's favorite pachyderm unexpectedly blew its final trumpet and died due to unknown causes. Most likely, the northern weather eventually got the best of him, or maybe he died of homesickness after spending 8 years in such foreign lands, thousands of miles away from its skin. I also wonder whether an instruction manual was included with Abu Abbas, or were the Franks expected to figure out how to care for him on his own. In any case, Abu Abbas was dead, and Charlemagne had to suffer through his final years without his imperial elephant. It wouldn't be until 400 years later that another elephant would follow in Abu Abbas's footsteps to call Europe its home. The elephant of the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II, gifted to him by Al-Kamil, the Sultan of Egypt in 1229. 